Have you noticed that your child might be having some trouble with writing? Maybe you're a little confused as to why their writing skills haven't improved or have improved very slowly. Or maybe you're concerned your child may have dysgraphia. Never heard of dysgraphia before today? Most people haven't, even though it's probably just as common as dyslexia. Dysgraphia is a difficulty in writing. It expresses itself as a difficulty in getting things down on paper or just sloppy handwriting. This video will quickly help you discover if your child may have dysgraphia. It's a quick dysgraphia test that you can use to figure out if your child is having trouble in this area. So let's get to it. Score yourself as we go. Just add one to your score for each yes answer. Question number one. Does your child have difficulty holding pencils, pens, or markers, or holds them awkwardly? Number two. Does your child have poor handwriting? Number three, does your child leave out letters or words when writing quickly? Number four, does writing cause your child's hand to hurt or get tired? Number five, does your child have difficulty picking up small objects? Number six, does your child use excuses to get out of writing projects? Number seven, does your child have trouble using scissors, buttons, or zippers? Number eight, does your child's movement sometimes seem to lack fluidity? Number nine, does your child regularly misspell common words? Number 10, does your child avoid writing on whiteboards, blackboards, or flip chart boards? Number 11, are there subjects that your child will talk confidently about but resist writing about? Number 12, does your child get restless and distracted when writing? Number 13, when writing, does your child vary the letter size? Number 14, does your child have a lack of space and consistency between letters or words? Number 15, does your child have difficulty with grammar when writing, but not when speaking? Number 16, does your child's spoken communication seem far more advanced than their written communication? Number 17, does your child leave out critical facts or details when writing? Number 18. Has your child's handwriting not improved or improved very little over time? Number 19. Does your child find it difficult to write within the lines on notebook paper? Number 20. Does your child have difficulty coloring well in coloring books? Number 21. Does your child have difficulty formulating sentences when writing? Number 22. Does your child regularly mix lowercase and uppercase letters? Number 23, does your child have trouble with punctuation? Number 24, does your child have difficulty lining up columns when doing math problems? Number 25, does your child have difficulty getting thoughts down on paper? Number 26, does your child have difficulty copying text? Number 27, does your child avoid drawing, tracing, or painting? Number 28, does your child have difficulty cutting food, doing puzzles, or manipulating small objects with their hands? Number 29, does your child have trouble putting their thoughts together when doing writing projects? Now, what's your score? If your score is three or more, then this is something to take note of and to begin working on developmental exercises to remedy the problem. It doesn't mean that it's dysgraphia for sure, but if you get ahead of it, your child will be far better off in the end. Now, I do have some bad news, but also some good news. The bad news? Someone with dysgraphia very often will have trouble with other specific learning disabilities, such as dyslexia or dyscalculia. The underlying causes are the same, or at least very similar. Different people just express the problem differently because all brains are different. Okay, ready for the good news? Handwriting difficulties are corrected faster with therapy than problems in other areas. That makes for faster wins. Faster wins builds confidence and the desire to continue to improve. This is called a growth mindset. These wins will also spill over into other problem areas, such as reading or math. Eventually, you'll see wins there as well. You will be leading your child down a path to success in academics. You can do all of that with the learning success system. There's a link for a free trial in the description. And you might want to try the brain balancing for handwriting exercise in this video right here.